In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up the grading periods in Google Classroom. I will discuss the different grading systems to calculate the overall grade and how to add grade categories. Let's start. Open the Google Class, go to Class Settings, scroll down until the Grading Settings. Here, we can add grading periods. For every grading period, you need to specify the start and end dates. If the published date is within the date range, it will automatically add the assignment to the grading period. For example, at our school, there are three grading periods. Prelim, midterm, and final. These are their expected cover dates. If we have several Google Classes that will use the same settings, we can set it up by clicking the Select Classes button and selecting the other classes on a pop-up window that appears next. Additionally, we can set up how Google Classroom will calculate the overall grade. These are the two systems we can choose from, namely Total Points and Weighted by Category. Let's take a look at the Total Points. It basically adds all the points earned by a student and then divides it by the total possible points. In the system, the teacher should indicate the grading category and possible points for every category. For example, there are two categories, essay and test. In the essay, let's say the student got 90 over 100. For the test, the student earned 95 over 100. 90 and 95 will be added, then the sum will be divided by 200. As a result, the overall grade would be 92.5%. Let's see how weighted by category works. We add grade categories and the percentage or weights for each of them. In this system, the student's average for every category is found. Then, it is multiplied by the weight giving the category score. Finally, all the category scores are added to get the overall grade. Here's an example. In the essay category, suppose two instances were recorded. 70 and 80 are added, the average is obtained, and the weight of 50% is multiplied. With that, the category score of 37.5% is gotten. The same procedure is applied to the test category. The overall grade is composed by adding the category scores, which are 37.5% and 47.5%. The result is 85%. Going back to the class settings, I will set up weighted by category. Note that grade categories in the system must add up to 100%. Let's say I have 10% for seat work, another 10% for homework, 15% for recitation, 25% for quizzes, and 40% for the major examination. I will save all the changes. At this point, I will use the period and category in an assignment. I now have all the instructions. On the right panel, I can specify the due date and whether I will or not accept any more the late submissions. For the category, I will choose homework. Since the date I am publishing this is within the prelim period, then that will be automatically selected. Click Assign once done. As we can see, Homework is the category of this particular post. Previously posted requirements can still be categorized. Let's say this previous one is a seat work. I hope this video helps. Please like and share. Drop your feedback in the comment section below. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.